Hi, I'm Ken Gold, Technical Sales Manager at Cavallo. In the next couple of minutes here today, I'd hope to be able to show you the sales pad connector for PaceChat, where we're able to uh, bring in the ability to rate quote shipments and also tender out shipments with parcel and LTL carriers directly within sales pad. Starting at sales monitor, I typically have completed part of the process where documents have been moved through fulfillment and they're ready to, to be picked. In this example, I'm going to refresh my sales monitor. I have a new order 3507 that just entered the shipping queue for me to get to work on. As I enter into the order, I have two options, either to get rates, just to rate shop it at the moment to see what types of carriers and service options I've got, or to go into process shipment where you can go straight through and actually uh, complete the whole process within just a few clicks. As I launch into PaceChat, the PaceChat UI appears directly within SalesPad in this iframe that pops up. Uh, the shipment details are mapped from SalesPad, so the ship from, the ship to, and so on. It's also going to validate those addresses, like I've got an address validation error actually on this one. It also supports custom fields to be mapped in, so SalesPad user defined fields, for instance, uh, can be brought in into uh, the shipment information as well, but typically standard fields like the order number and PO number are mapped in already. The package information can also come in uh, pre-mapped or you can complete packing here as well. I might say that I've got a small box with these dimensions and then also need to indicate which uh, items get packed into this container as well. So there's the ability to do this in a few different ways of adding the items with a, a scanner, um, using some pre-pack logic from uh, page chat that's built around rules or being able to uh, see the uh, items that need to be packed and click and drag them into the pack as, as well. Page has got some really intelligent predictive pack tools that go along with this so there's, there's flexibility in how you can approach this. The dimensions and weights can also come in from a uh, linked scale so this pulled through that it's got 4.6 pounds on it currently. Now I'll go into the, the rate shipment, uh, a rate and process. These are going to give you the options again to just get the rates and select the cheapest carrier or rate and process is just going to grab the cheapest carrier and bring that through. But I'd, I'll, I'd like to pause on the, the shipment options. So I'm going to go with rate shipment first of all to show the flexibility here. In this example, it's calling out to those carriers. I've got a few of them listed above. US Postal Services in green because it's saying for me the cheapest service is this one, library mail. Now it might not be truly eligible for this one based on the rules uh, that I want to put in here of what I'd like to use this uh, use for shipping this, but I might opt to say well in this case I really actually want to use UPS ground or an LTL carrier. We have some options there as well, but we'll go with UPS ground is going to get it there on Saturday and at the cost of $20.49. Now, depending on how you want to treat these as well, you have flexibility in what rates and amounts get written back to the sales document. Because maybe you want to use your shipping account or their shipping account uh, for different rates and then choose what gets back to the document. Maybe you charge them list price or account price or even a modified amount. I'm going to go ahead and select that and uh, mark it as ship. That confirms the shipment with UPS and it's going to complete that with a tracking number and the ability to print out labels at this point as well. So I'll move this pop-up just out of the way. It's got the tracking information listed here. There's some reports that go around along with that for the, the 4 by 6 packing labels. Uh, and it's got the amounts written back here as well. List price 2070, total 2049 uh, for the negotiated rate. Now that's the completion of the process in uh, PaceChat. So I'll close that sales pad prompt and it brings me back to the sales document. Based on the write back rules, the freight amount has come back here. You'll also see a link to a tracking number that's clickable to launch into the carrier's website. And in the PaceJet shipment tab, it notes that this was completed with this PaceJet transaction number for UPS ground. And in the tracking number tab as well, that same tracking number will appear or multiple if you happen to have built out multiple uh, uh, packages as part of the shipment. So this makes it really easy then you can output this information to the customer as well and invoice it and give them a shipping confirmation with their tracking number. 
So with that, then you don't have to field their call saying, hey, what's, where's my order? They've got the tracking number already. So great benefit of PayShed is that they have 60 plus carriers and they manage any of the changes and uh, linkages and the rates that occur from year to year. So PayShot really is a value add in this one where they're going to enable you to shop all of the different carriers you're set up with, but do it within the comfort and the ease of working within SalesPad as well. Well, thank you for your time to see how the PayShot connector within SalesPad really makes shipping a breeze.